Let's read our favorite books by Mo Willems. Hello friends, before we start reading a collection of our favorite books, please subscribe, like and share our video with friends and family. Now let's start reading. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Words and pictures by Mo Willems. For Cheryl. Hi. I'm the bus driver. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while, so can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks. Oh, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. I thought he'd never leave. Hey, can I drive the bus? Please, I'll be careful. I tell you what, I'll just steer. My cousin Herb drives the bus almost every day. True story. Vroom, vroom, roomy, vroom, vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. Nope, I never get to do anything. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. Come on, just once around the block. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? No fair. I bet your mom will let me. What's the big deal? It's just a bus. I have dreams, you know. Fine. Let me drive the bus. I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Great. Thanks a lot. Uh-oh. Bye. Hey! The end. Don't fly away anywhere. Next book is starting right now. The Pigeon Wants a Puppy. I really do. Words and Pictures by Mo Willems. The Pigeon Wants a Puppy. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. By the way, do you know what I want? What I've wanted forever? At least since last Tuesday. A puppy! Puppy, puppy, puppy! Oh, don't worry. I'll take care of it. I promise I'll water it once a month. What? Everybody knows that puppies need plenty of sunshine and water. Oh, I get it. You don't want me to be happy, do you? You don't want me to take a piggyback ride on my puppy or play tennis with it? You just don't understand. I'm a puppy-loving pigeon. Aww. Puppies. I want a puppy right here, right now. Woof. What's that? Woof, woof. Is it possible? Have my dreams come true? <laughs> it's huge. The teeth, the hair, that wet nose, the slobber, the claws. I mentioned the teeth, right? Really, I had no idea. I've changed my mind. 
I want a walrus. The end. Hope you enjoyed the book so far. We have more books coming next. But before we read our next book, please subscribe, like and share our video with friends and family. And keep reading. Don't let the pigeon stay up late. Words and pictures by Mo Willems. Oh, good. It's you. Listen, it's getting late and I need to brush my teeth. Can you do me a favor? Don't let the pigeon stay up late. Thanks. First of all, I'm not even tired. In fact, I'm in the mood for a hot dog party. What do you say? No? I hear there's a good show about birds on TV tonight. Should be very educational. How about five more minutes? Come on, what's five minutes in the grand scheme of things? <sighs> what? What? I am not tired. You know, we never get to talk anymore. Tell me about your day. Oh, I've got a great idea. We should count the stars. Can I have a glass of water? Studies show that pigeons hardly need any sleep at all. Hey, hey, ho, ho. This hair pigeon just won't go. Please. It's the middle of the day in China. I'll go to bed early tomorrow night instead. My bunny wants to stay up too. You can't say no to a bunny, can you? <sighs> okay, that was not a yawn. I was stretching. I'm 110% awake. You haven't heard the last of me. Great work. Thanks. Good night. The end. Do you think Pigeon needs a bath? Let's find out if he actually takes one in. The Pigeon needs a bath. I do not. Words and pictures by more villain. Hi. I don't know if you've noticed, but the pigeon is filthy. So, I could use your help because the pigeon needs a bath. That is a matter of opinion. What a kidder. I don't really need a bath. I took one last month. I think it was last month. Clean, dirty, they're just words, right? I feel clean. Maybe you need a bath. Yeah, when was the last time you had a bath? Oh, that was pretty recently. Life is so short. Why waste it on unimportant things like taking a bath? What smell? I don't smell anything. And if I do, it's a very normal smell for a pigeon. You know, in some places it is impolite to bathe. All of these flies buzzing around me are purely coincidental. Yuck! Pee-hoo! Let's get out of here! Take a bath, dude. Okay, fine! If it means so much to you, I'll take a bath. Whoa! I'm not going to like this one bit.
The water is too hot. Too cold. Too deep. Not deep enough. Too lukewarm. Too hot. Too cold. Now it's too hot again. Too wet. Too cold. Too reflective. Not enough toys. Too many toys. That is still too hot. Well, I guess this is okay. Hey, this is fun. Wash, 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 washy. I love bubbles. Look at my wrinkly toes. La 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 la, singing in the tub. This is the life. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm fine. I'm a fish. I'm a fish. Ten hours later. Can I stay in the tub forever? The end. Let's fly to our next book. The Pigeon Has to Go to School. Words and Pictures by Mo Willems. Wait, don't read that title. The Pigeon Has to Go to School. Words and Pictures by Mo Willems. Do we watch? Why do I have to go to school? I already know everything. Go on, ask me a question. Any question. Well, I know almost everything. Does school start in the morning? Because you know what I'm like in the morning. It is not pretty. I wish I was a little chick again. Okay. A little itty bitty not going to school baby baby pigeon. What if I don't like school? What if I really don't like it? What if I really, really don't like it? What if... What if the teacher doesn't like pigeons? And the stuff. What about all the stuff? There was so much stuff to want. What if I want too much? My head might pop off. I'm scared. What will happen at school? What if there's math or numbers? Why does the alphabet have so many letters? Reading can be hard with one big eye. What about lunch? What would the other birds think of me? Will fingerprints stick to my fingers? What's up with those heavy backpacks? I'm a fragile bird. The unknown stresses me out, dude. There should be a place to practice those things. With experts to help you and books in classrooms and other birds that work and play with? Maybe a playground? Oh, that is school. Well, how am I supposed to get there anyway? Was that was it what? Super Sonic coming through! The pigeon has to go to school. The end. In our next book, the duckling finds a cookie. Will it share it with our favorite pigeon? Let's find out in... The Duckling Gets a Cookie Words and Pictures by Mo Willems The Duckling Gets a Cookie I do not like the look of that title.
Thank you. That was very nice of you. Oh, look at all those nuts. Hey, how did you get that cookie? I asked for it. You asked for it? Say, does that cookie have nuts? Yes. So, you got a cookie with nuts just by asking? I ask for things all the time. I ask to drive the bus. I ask for hot dog parties. I ask for a french fry robot every now and then. I've asked for a walrus. Do I ask for candy? I do. It doesn't have to be a big bus, you know. Right now, I'm asking why. Why? 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 Oh, there's more. Sometimes I ask for a hug. I ask to stay up late. Or I'll ask for one more story. I can't count the times I've asked for my own personal iceberg. Oh yeah. I'm the askingest pigeon in town. But do I get what I ask for? No! It's not fair. Ducklings get everything. Pigeons like cookies too, especially with nuts. Why did you get that cookie? So I could give it to you? And another thing. How about what? You're giving me that cookie? With the nuts. That is so nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mmm. That is one cool duckling. Yes, sir. Bye. May I have another cookie, please? But this time, no nuts. The end. Now let's see if the pigeon finds a hot dog and gets to eat it too. Let's read. The pigeon finds a hot dog. Words and pictures by Mo Willems. With special guest star, The Duckling. Ooh, a hot dog. Yummy, yummy, yummy. May I help you? Is that a hot dog? Not a hot dog. My hot dog. Uh, I have a question. I've never had a hot dog before. What do they taste like? Well, the art sensation. Each morsel is a joy. A celebration in a bun. 
If you've never experienced the slinger of a hot dog, you should really. Wait a second. This hot dog is mine. I found it. Of course. Enjoy. Go ahead. Ah. Would you say that it tastes like chicken? Can you believe this guy? What? It just tastes like a hot dog, okay? Okay, okay. So it doesn't taste like chicken then? Oh, for Pete's sake. Hey, I'm a curious bird. That's it. It's my hot dog, right? Mine, mine, mine. I'm a curious bird. What does it taste like? Blah, blah, blah. You're right. This is unbelievable. Finders keepers is what I say. I can't take it anymore. What am I supposed to do? I think I've got an idea. A pretty smart one for a duckling. Mmm. Pink mustard. The end. Why is there no mustard? There's just a bun in this. But I like it with mustard. You've never eaten hot dog. Can I eat a hot dog? You can. What does it taste like? It tastes like a hot dog, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, does it taste like chicken? No. <laughs> it tastes like hot There's nothing like reading a real book. So go check out these books at your local library or stores or online. Special thanks to Mo Willems for coming up with such interesting and captivating books.